Hola y bienvenidos a New Lipstick. El pintalabio que tengo puesto para este video es by Sigma Beauty Lilac Wine. I have many favorite things in life. My favorite beverage is coffee. My favorite furry thing is a cat. My favorite accessory is shoes. My favorite type of food is breakfast. My favorite type of human being is my husband, my mom, my dad, and my next favorite person is myself. I've never done a favorites video on my channel and I shop a lot. So for this video, I will be sharing some of my very top favorites from the last couple of months of things that I bought. It runs a gamut. I have perfume, I have makeup, and I have fashion. Let's get into it, bitches. It's in no particular order. I'm just gonna swing away. Oh my God, I was looking for Z palettes, like those empty palettes, and I found some beautiful ones. I didn't wanna get like no measly looking type of like Z palettes that just look black and plain and boring. Look at this gorgeousness holographic beautiful glittery empty magnetic z palettes that i found by anastasia beverly hills i have a lot of singles that i've been collecting like those dual chromes and glittery ones by divina tara moon cleona that i'm obsessed with and i need a z palettes and look how gorgeous this is look how stunning it is these are only ten dollars and i believe they have like four or five different colors i am obsessed with them so much that i ended up getting two so I got like the lavender one and then I got, this one hasn't been opened yet. And this one is like a minty green one and it also has glitter. They are so stunning, magnetic. They are full of goodies, sparkly goodness that I have in here that I am so, this is like one of my favorite palettes that I put together. I can show you the eyeshadows if you're interested. Let me know down below in a different video because I noticed that I love my eyeshadows super matte or super glittery like shiny sparkly so this is exactly what i have here but these are only ten dollars super stunning next thing is a perfume i've been obsessed with this perfume this is by victor and ralph and this is called magic dancing roses and it's so good so freaking good it's like rosy and it has hints of sweetness in there this is so perfect for the spring and the summer i'm not normally a person that loves floral scents but this one has like the perfect combination between rose and like sweetness. It's just a beautiful combination. It's not dominant with the rose. It's not dominant with sweetness. It's just like the perfect blend. It's feminine, it's sultry, sexy, floral with sweetness in it. Kind of almost a little bit candy, but not too saccharin that's your bet right there it lasts me all day and i just love it might as well just put some on right now i love lipsticks i buy them all the time and the most recent one but also the one that i'm so obsessed with now are the bite beauty lip glosses oh my god if you haven't tried these they're so gorgeous they're food grade and it tastes like sweet it literally tastes sweet when you lick them off your lips, they literally like food base. It's like I'm having a candy. And the colors are so rich and gorgeous. I couldn't pick which color is my favorite. Oh wow, look at this beautiful lavender orchid one. They're rich, thick. Like if you're wearing kind of like honey or molasses, that's what it gives me. They're so gorgeous. I have cider donut as you can see i've worn them to death and i actually got these recent on a sale i also have cinnamon twist which i wore in one of my videos and then this one is lavender cookie i actually want to get them all to be honest with you these shorts i just recently got and they quickly shot up to the top of the list these are the what are these called tna cargo shorts they're 68 dollars i just love the structure of these so modern and such streetwear it has such a cool aesthetic also a casual short that you can take into some type of uplifted elevated nighttime look obsessed with the way they fit and i'm obsessed with them so much so that i actually ordered two more it's just a win-win for me another one that actually made it to my favorites and i'm pretty shocked with this one because it's more flowery not that i don't like flowery but i mean it's not normally the thing i would go for the most this dress is by zara's and I love this dress. I think I love it more because even though it's colorful, it's colors that I actually like. I love these soft colors and the mixture of the colors with the pink and like the 
turquoisey blues against the black background it's super soft it has that skater look which these type of dresses are so flattering right and then it's so light and springy and also it's almost chiffon -y type of feel and these type of dresses are so effortless and you can wear them for daytime nighttime but for me i would actually wear this in the daytime with some beautiful little heels, sandals, some streetwear, edgy type of look. I love dresses like this. And it's so funny, I never had anything like this and I made it a point to actually get things like this. I really, really love this dress. So much so that I have another dress that has a similar look, but look at this color. This is the color I've been like salivating over. I don't know, something about this draws me in. I'm obsessed with this color. It's just so stunning in my eyes. This one is also by Zara's and it has the same look as the other one. I love these dresses. I want to make sure I get a couple of them so that I can rock them for the summer and just really have fun with them. I love the fact that they are so flattering on your body and yet so effortless like when you don't want to think about what you're wearing. This has like this corset type of feel here so you cinch this in and it gives you more of an hourglass and more fitted type of vibe to your body. I've seen this, they still have it online on Zara's, but they also have it in a floral print, which I was thinking of getting, but I was like, girl, you do not need any more. Look how gorgeous this is, but I just love the fit of these. The last one is also by Zara's, and this one is the same idea, but in black, of course. This was one of the first ones that I ended up getting because I knew that I wanted a black one. This will serve me beautifully for meetings, for auditions, for everyday life. I mean, if I just want to look cute anyway, so which is 365 days a year, really, let's be honest. It's just that effortless and it works seamlessly into my wardrobe that I can do anything with this, which, which is exactly why I love it. This one is more of a buttoned up shirt type of vibe. And again, it cinches in on the waist and it just gives me a flattering look. It really defines my body, really delicate, really feminine but I can take something like this and edge it up into the elevator street where I really, really love and enjoy. I have two more things to show and it's actually makeup related. One of the eyeshadow palettes, ironically, that I've been obsessed over these past few months is none other than this NYX Utopia one. I'm not a fan of like big eyeshadow palettes, but something about the color scheme here literally drew me in and I was like, let me get it and I'm really glad I got it. That all the eyeshadows here are created equal? No, they're not all created equal. Some of them work better than others. I find myself using this more than ever. Like this is what I use in my eyes today. Is this on my crease and then I use this on my lid. This one in my inner corners. Over I just laid on a Cleona eyeshadow shadow just really like haphazardly and that is a look that you're seeing today i love jewel colored tone and you kind of have it here i find myself using this way more than i expected to and i'm really actually shocked I'm not gonna lie another one that i got that i've been enjoying is makeup geek i've never bought makeup geek eyeshadows even when makeup geek was the rage back in the days but their formula is the bomb it's really the bomb this one is called desert sands this is their quads they have it online they still have it the quality on this is ridiculous ridiculous they're powdery they're soft it's like creamy the color that you see here is exactly what you get in your eyes they're so beautiful to work with and effortless and I feel like when I put this on, I don't have to work at it. The colors are just stunning. They have different color quads. They also have nine pans. They have so many beautiful colors, but I mean, just the quality on these things are ridiculous. They're just so beautiful and buttery, so much so that I ended up buying two of them and I wear them all the time. Granted, this one is the greener one. I forgot the name of it, but I will write it here. I got this for this color right here. These olive green tones, stunning, creamy, gorgeous, pigmented. They're just so creamy. Like you just want to eat them. Like that's what I feel with them. If you're looking for an independent company that's super affordable and they have great quality makeup geek is the one to check out.